That's a, not a right, it's a privilege. Free internet access, that's what hundreds of residents living in low-income housing are going to get. The San Antonio Housing Authority says that kind of access will help the residents when it comes to education, getting a job, and getting benefits for the elderly. But as our Christina Coleman explains, not everyone agrees. Shannon Hearn lives in Elizon Apache Courts and she is on a tight budget. So when she found out her public housing complex is on the list to get free Wi-Fi, she was thrilled. It'll do a lot for me actually. I'm a full-time student. I'm enrolled at SAC. I've been there for two and a half years. She pays for internet access now, but she says she would like to spend that money on her daughter. It'll do a lot. I mean, it's $120 a year I'll be saving. The San Antonio Housing Authority discussed progress on the installation of free internet access for its residents. They plan to have it up and running for families in two housing communities next month. It will cost $400 to install equipment at each site and $8 a month for the service at each location. They are using recycled computers within some Saha's inventory. Saha believes internet access will benefit job seekers and students. Working on SAT, uh, registering, they could be at home, they can register for and apply on co uh, for colleges and scholarships. Uh, that will be available. Our students in SAISD uh, all have an email account. Saha says it will also be helpful to the elderly. They can check to see whether their uh, their assistance check has have hit if it's an elderly or disabled family. Uh, if they're in school, that communication today is so often through email and through the internet and, and kids are asked to submit their papers online to the teachers. For now, Saha's plan is to put free internet access in 30 of its 71 public housing communities, but some taxpayers don't agree with the plan. I, I don't get free Wi-Fi, so I don't, I don't, I don't think they should. I don't think that's, a, I think, I think that's a luxury item. This frustrates me a whole lot. Why? Why? Because the rest of us have got to pay for it. Why can't they pay for it? Saha is not sure when all 30 housing communities will have free internet access. Some of them already had Wi-Fi so their employees could work on the property. Saha says that's what's keeping the cost down. Reporting in the newsroom, Christina Coleman, Fox News at 9.